Okay guys, Private Jack here and going through the Steam discussion groups again we find another situation where somebody wants to do something and doesn't know how to do it. What they want to do is they want to take this picture frame and put a different picture into it. So we're going to give that a try here. So the first thing I'm going to do is subscribe to the model and download it which I already have. I've subscribed to it. I've already got it in Source Filmmaker. So here's the model in Source Filmmaker. First thing I need to do is I need to find the original material for this particular model. And to do that, what I did is I added a material override to the model and sent it into the element viewer. Okay, so here it is in the element viewer. And these are the various skins that are available for this particular model. I'm just going to pick one and find out where the materials live. And I find out that the materials live in models, props, FOW, and the actual material name is photo group or photo group O2A. So what I have to do now is I have to actually find that picture or that that texture and I found it in my common Source Filmmaker game workshop materials, models, props, FWO, and here's the actual VTF. Now I have the VTF plugin for GIMP installed so I can work with this particular material straight in GIMP. And I'm going to open that up in GIMP and have a look at it. So here's the material in GIMP, okay? And I find that it's a 1024 by 1024 texture. The picture that I want to add to this is this guy. And, and what I find is that this picture is 1920 by 1080. So not only is it too big to go into here, but it's also oblong differently from what I want to go in here. So to find out what size I need this picture to be to fit in here, what I need to do now is actually use a select tool. I'm going to use the rectangle select tool and I'm just going to trace out this particular portion of the frame and make sure that I have it as close as possible to the edges so that I get a good representation of just how big this thing is. Probably there and there. Okay, now if I come into the options I can find out just how big this actual uh, portion of the actual picture is and the size is 482 by 752 coming into my picture that I want to put into um, that space what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this so that it is as high as I need it to be so I'm going to go image scale image and the actual height was 752. That's 752. 752? I thought it was 5 something. Give me a minute. No, nope, 752. Okay, so 752. Scale. So now I have this image scaled to 752. What I want to do now is I want to bring it into this actual picture as a layer. So I'm going to right click on it, edit, copy, come back into the material that I want to work with or the texture I want to work with and I'm going to paste it as a layer. Edit, paste as a layer and we'll find out exactly what it's going to look like. So here it is now in on top of this thing and what I need to do now is I need to move it around a little bit in order to position it the way I want it. So I'm going to grab the move tool, make sure I have that picture uh, selected, 
and just move it into position here. Probably something like that. Now I'm not going to be able to get the whole um, picture in here without doing some weird and wonderful magic and I really don't want to get into that. This is just a quick tutorial on how to do it. So I'm going to try and get as much of the aspect in using the rule of thirds so that it doesn't look too bad. And I think that's going to do it right there. This outline is the actual selection area. I need to pull it down just a little bit more so that it actually fits into that picture frame like that. And now that I have this selected, I'm going to select the uh, uh, the inverse so that I can get rid of the stuff that's going to be clipped out of this picture. So I go select, inverse, invert. And now this area of the picture is selected for uh, editing. I'm going to hit delete like that and that doesn't look too bad. I could have scaled it. I could have made it a little bit bigger and scaled it into uh, an aspect but I think this is this is good enough for what I want to do. Okay now that I have that done what I'm going to do is select on this particular picture or this particular layer and I'm going to change the layer so that it is the same size as this one. So layer and layer to image size. Now my layer is the same size as the old image was. Okay, like uh, if I look here, this is now 1024 by 1024 and this one is 1024 by 1024. Now all I have to do is merge the two together and I have my picture in my picture frame. I'm going to file export this as and I'm going to put it right back here in the same folder as the other guys are and I'm going to call this Photo Anna VTF. And go through the uh, rigmarole of actually saving a VTF file. And now that this is in that folder, I'm going to come back into Source Filmmaker and I'm going to select this material, right click on it, add an attribute. It's going to be a string attribute. I'm going to double click in the box to select the entire attribute name and I'm going to type dollar sign base texture I'm going to hit enter and this frame is going to turn black and purple. Now in this box under the data column, I'm going to pick up that old file name, copy and paste it in beside the base texture. And as soon as I do that and hit enter, I'm going to get that Neptune picture back. But because I put Anna's photo in that same uh, folder. All I have to do now is come back here, take out group and put in Anna. And there's my picture. And that's how you do a base texture hack uh, to an existing model. Any questions? Leave them down in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. And with that, I'm going to say Private Jack out.